All right, we've got something kind of cool to take a look at today. This is a civilian MRE, but it's made by DAF, or DAF, I'm not exactly sure I pronounce it. And DAF is the company that makes military rations for Chile. This apparently is actually a joint venture between DAF and MRE Mountain. As you can see, I have my MRE Mountain stickers here. And this is a Redline MRE. The Redline provides a thousand calories. It says there's a flameless ration heater included. The only other information on this bag is this sticker right here that says that it's menu 14. It has an armed date of September 2018 and an expiration date of April 2021. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this open from the back. And we'll check this out. Let's see what we have here. Salmon paella. So that's our main. Here's the Chilean Flemish ration heater. And so here is apricots on syrup. Berries jam. Cafe Instantaneo. Looks like instant coffee. And this is the second one. Yes. So two instant coffees. This is an isotonic drink. Pineapple flavor. And these here appear to be little biscuits or cookies of some sort. Basically it just says cookie. All right, and then it looks like the last thing we have, an accessory pack. Basically we have a commercial spoon, and we have two packages of salt. We have a napkin, and in addition to our two instant coffees, we have English breakfast tea. And four packs of sugar. All right, and here's everything that we're getting in this commercial or civilian MRE from DAF, the Redline 1000 calorie meal. Now let's go ahead and try this out. All right, we'll start off by heating up the main. We'll do that about 12 minutes to heat up. And first we'll check out the apricots on syrup. And we'll check out the berries jam. And it looks like the berries in this are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, and blueberries. And we did get these two packages of cookies. So I'm just gonna open one. And there's our cookie. Mm, it smells good. It smells like uh, this has got a little bit of coconut in there. And you get a fair amount of beverages with this ration. You get the two instant coffees and the tea, and you also get the pineapple ice tonic drink. And this actually makes a liter. It definitely has a tropical kind of smell to it. The pineapple part of a Tropical fruit punch. All right, now I'll make up the coffee and the tea. And none of these tear not just seem to be all that great on these. You have to be a little bit careful. Seems to have kind of an earthy smell to it. Let me just go with one. You can see that that was it's a nice powder, like you would expect. This one is a little bit different. Something seems to have gone wrong with this. It looks like some moisture got in there. And uh, mm, we'll just go with the one. Let's see how this one is. And we'll add sugar to taste this time. Tea, which just leaves us with our main. And let's check out this salmon paella. That smells really good in there. All 
Alright, I definitely want to try this out while it's hot. So let's get right to it. Alright, you can see there's some big chunks of salmon in here. Obviously rice. This is uh, yellow rice and uh, we have peas. Looks like there's some peppers in there. And a lot of other stuff that's really... Oh wait, here's the, here's the shrimp. But I want to get a spoonful of everything. And give this a try. Yeah, that's really good. I've had paella, I've had paella over in Spain, and this, obviously this isn't a homemade paella, but it's, it really isn't bad at all. The rice is fine. It's not over or underdone. It seems to have soaked up a lot of the flavor of the seafood. The salmon is good. And that's really good. It's not quite as flavorful as I expected. This actually might, might be able to use a little bit of the salt. I'm not complaining about the taste. The taste is fine. It's just, wouldn't mind if there was a little bit more. I'm definitely getting the fishy taste coming through there. But that's really... Yeah, kind of about it. And there's not too much as far as the seasonings that's really coming through. It's very good. I wouldn't mind if it had just a little bit more flavor to it. I'm going to try this coffee, see how this is on its own. That's sort of an odd flavor. It's uh, a little bit on the bitter side. And I probably could use some sugar. They did give us four sugars, so we'll have to give two to each the uh, coffee and the tea. And that'll probably cut down the bitterness a little bit. Yeah, it's not, not too bad. It's definitely different from the U.S. ones. The U.S. ones are that standard instant coffee, which you don't really even have to describe. It basically tastes like instant coffee. This is a little bit different. No, I said if you're going to have a black, it is, uh, it's a bit on the bitter side. Let's try these apricots. That's about what you'd expect in a fruit and a syrup. Tastes a lot like the canned fruits we have over here in the U.S. Peaches, pears, stuff like that. Look at this. This is a... It's got a whole big piece of apricot right here. And it's good. It's kind of like... Like I always say, it's like the closest thing you can get to having fresh fruit in a ration. And it's nice. The syrup is, is kind of a heavy syrup, but it's not overly sweet. And we'll try the tea on its own. Actually, I'll get rid of the tea bag. Give that a try. That's nice, nice and mild. It's uh, pretty smooth. A little breakfast tea. I think that's actually fine on its own, but since I'm not much of a coffee or tea drinker, I'm also going to put some of the sugar in this and see to give it to us. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I don't know if I'd mentioned it's quality, the taste you can trust. And it really just leaves us with the cookies, or biscuits, whatever you want to call them. Try one of these on its own. I mentioned when I smelt it, it kind of had a smell of coconut almost coming off of it. But there wasn't any coconut listed on the ingredients. I think it may have been malt. It's good. It's not going to break your teeth. It's crunchy, but it's uh, easy to eat. It falls apart in your mouth. And it has just a little bit of sweetness. They're fine on their own, but I think they're going to go really good. Actually, we should try this on its own first. This berries jam. And I guess it is appropriate to call it berries jam instead of berry jam because there's so many different berries in it. That's yeah, nice. The uh, berries are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, and blueberries. Blueberries aren't really coming through, but uh, obviously that taste is in there. And uh, I'm not sure what this is here. I'm guessing this is the strawberry. Let's throw that on here. We'll try this. That's really a nice way to get uh, something sweet, but not overly sweet. I'll try this. Whatever this is, if it's a strawberry or whatever, I'll try this on its own. Yeah, it's really good, but I think, I think this really is the way to go. Yeah, it's really tasty. And that just leaves us with the pineapple isotonic drink, which I'm kind of looking forward to. It smelled pretty good as a powder. It's an interesting smell. It's not exactly like a standard artificial pineapple smell. And for whatever reason, it's not as refreshing as I expected it to be. It's sweet, but the sweetness isn't exactly the, the, the first thing. I don't, I don't want to say bitter, but um, it's kind of strange. It definitely has a tropical kind of kick to it. It just tastes like some element of a, of a tropical fruit punch. This was a review of a civilian MRE from DAF, or DAF, the company that makes Chilean military rations. And thank you for watching.